We will speak about another open source uh, tool we develop. It is uh, MediaConch, and MediaConch is an implementation and a policy uh, checker. So what is implementation, what is policy? Um, actually, implementation, it is uh, what is in the specifications. So it is what we were talking a bit sooner uh, in the afternoon. Uh, there, were, there is specification and a file need to, conf to be conformed to this um, uh, specification. So it is not something you, you, you decide. It is uh, st a standardization bodies who, who decide about how it should be. And a lot of software are not compliant, so we try to detect the issues in the files and we report if it is okay or not okay. Uh, a policy report is more subjective. It is you, you decide about uh, what you want in your repository. If you want, uh, for example, only Matroska files, uh, it is the example there on, um, on the right. And uh, you, you can decide, oh, I, I accept only FFV1 and only FFV1 version 3 and so on. So it is very subjective. It is you, you decide about uh, what would be accepted or not in your workflow. And uh, in that case, uh, in MediaConch, you have two columns, one about implementation, not you. What about uh, something, uh, a column about uh, policy? It is your decision. <laughs> Uh, you can also have some uh, an, an integration of media info, so you can know a bit more about your files. You can also go deeper in the files. You can have a trace of the files. So if you want uh, to, to check more deeply what is in the file and what has the, the meaning of a, any byte. So it is more advanced, but it, it may be useful sometimes. We have also GUI for that, and we try to make the policy editor for creating the policy as easy as possible. So it is with a lot of drag and drop, with help. So you don't need to be an expert. You just have a GUI. You, you try to understand what has the, the media and fields, what is the format, what is uh, the, the, the frame rate, and so on. So you don't need to be very technical, and the GUI helps you a lot to create your own um, policy. And if it is not enough, uh, other people created policies, and media conscious is made to share your policies. So uh, there are some uh, public policies created by uh, colleagues from you, maybe, and uh, you can uh, check the policies and uh, download them and uh, look at how they are done and so, and so on. So the goal in MediaConch is that everyone can share their experience about wh what they do. <coughs> so now I will speak a bit about the future, but a bit later. Uh, let's start with the past. Uh, it, MediaCon started in 2015 with an European Union funding, and uh, they were interested that the archive are able to to uh, um, to, uh, to to understand what are in the files. Uh, in, uh, in the last few uh, two days, we talk about the integrity uh, about, uh, of the files. And it is important not to only uh, check the, the, the first frames on, of the file. And you say, oh, I know it, it is MP4, uh, AVC, it is fine. But you don't know if your file is very, uh, the integrity of, of the files. Uh, maybe you have some uh, an issue in your storage, but you, the storage didn't say, it, uh, oh, the block, I cannot read it again. I replace it with zeros. And the storage says nothing about that. With MediaConch, you are, you are able to detect that. We check the full file. So, and we, we, we are able to detect um, at any place if there is an error or not. Um, due to the European Union funding focused on open source format, MediaConch is mainly uh, developed for Matroska, FAV1, and PCM. Um, that other companies in the project of MediaConch, uh, the project was called Preforma. MediaConch is on Matroska, FV1, and PCM. Other projects were uh, about uh, uh, checking the conformance of PDF and TIFF. And 
With uh, the Preforma project and MediaConch, we needed to have a specification, uh, uh, the correct specification before we can compare to the specification. And this is the reason we started at the IETF working group. So we talked about it a few, uh, few hours ago. And the Preforma started the um, IETF working group. And, uh, and we, from this working group, we created MediaConch to, to, to be able to, to, to check the, uh, the standards and to, to check the files if they are conform or not to the standard. Um, so MediaConch was uh, at the beginning focused on Matroska, FAV1, but now other people were interested by other tools, uh, other uh, formats. So the latest development of uh, MediaConch are more about 3D audio, so totally different uh, place. So sometimes we work with stereo, and now with MediaConch we worked a lot on 3D audio because there are no tools for, co for checking the conformance of uh, 3D audio, so Dolby Atmos, MPEG-H, and so on. We have a lot of things about that. We don't do implementation checker from, for them yet, but we can have a policy checker for them. So, for example, you can say, okay, uh, I don't uh, know this, forma we this format very well, so I reject them, or I can accept because Dolby Atmos, okay, I, I can handle that, I accept it in my workflow, and package, I don't know it, so I reject it. So it is a, 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 the choice in the policy checker. We also added uh, over policy checker um, about uh, over format the text format captions TTML or time code discontinuities. We also implemented different levels of logging. Sometimes in the specification it is not written shall but it is written should. So at the beginning it was always errors for us. So now we have an error for um, shall and we have a warning for should. We also have a fully online version now, so it is for some people who want to check before and upload the file. So uh, some people want, okay, um, the, the client should upload the file, but before uploading the file and after that checking it and saying, oh no, I, I, I don't agree, I don't accept this file, we can analyze the file before the upload. So it helps to improve sometimes the workflow, spe some specific workflow. With MediaConch, uh, we don't sell MediaConch. It is open source. It is free. So, uh, how we live, uh, how we develop it, it is uh, that we implement the user's needs. So uh, we don't we, we don't have a the full featured uh, implementation checker or a policy checker. We implement some specific needs. So some there are some examples there in, on my slides. Um, there are some specific needs for specific users. So we have the base of the code, and now we are able to, um, to implement some small things, some, some small feature requests uh, at a low cost. So it is very useful if you have a specific needs, whatever it is, very small or big, you can ask, and we see how we can embed that in MediaConch. Um, we have uh, some funding for the moment uh, for next year, it, um, so it is no more only about FFV1 open, open source, uh, not only um, about Matroska, and we work on more uh, modern formats also, well, modern, new format. So ADM, ADM is 3D audio, so uh, we have a policy checker, but we are working on a full implementation checker. It is also for XHEAC. It is a new uh, uh, audio format, and uh, we have a funding for uh, having a full implementation checker for it also. And some people are also interested in some MXF implementation checker, so not the full implementation checker because MXF is very complicated and it is very costly to implement a full implementation checker, so we start with a uh, user's need. And beyond, after that, actually, I would say it depends on you because we develop things not for us, it is we develop for you. So we are interested in knowing what you need and we see what, what with the open source tools we, had, we have, how we can fit your needs. So if you have needs, say it. So we can discuss about that and we can see how we can resolve that. It is the goal in MediaConch to resolve your problems. I don't have any problem, I don't have any file. 
<laughs> but we can resolve your uh, your issues. That's all. <laughs> All right, so uh, what do you all need? Um, uh, well, uh, well, I'll let you think about it. Maybe I'll pose a question to you, Jerome. Um, but in, in terms of this question of what are your needs and you asking for this um, feedback, you had talked in your previous presentation about the sort of new bus the business model for open source development that you've been exploring and using sponsorship as a way to sort of push development forward. Is this, are you looking for um, you know, people to sponsor certain um, uh, features that you're looking to add, or is this sort of more open to to people to give you feedback um, without that kind of sponsorship? We are curious about the priorities of what are the main issues not uh, filled by other tools, and we talk about uh, if there's if you don't have any budget still say it because we can find maybe a uh, co-sponsors. So uh, when uh, someone come to me and, and, uh, and ask, oh, I need that, and uh, we say, the cost is that, oh, it is too expensive, and we understand that it is not so easy sometimes. But if you don't say, we don't know, and maybe another entity has the same issue, and maybe two, three, four other entities have, have the same issue, and if I know that the four entities have the same issue, I can say, okay, it, it was too costly for you alone, but I have four people, and if we all four agree, we can uh, share the cost. So even if you don't have a, a whole budget for that, I would be interested in knowing what are your, the issues you, you may have. So does anyone... Short question. I'm sorry, I'll give you the microphone. Do you think to extend uh, this checking program, uh, let's say for DCPs, which is also kind of audiovisual containers? DCP is also possible. We we support uh, DCP for the um, policy checker already, because uh, Media Country is based on Media Info for the policy checker. So everything supported by Media Info and DCP is supported is supported by Media Country. Um, Beyond that, uh, if there is a need, we could have uh, more uh, implementation checker, especially uh, for TIFF, which is ba uh, the base of uh, DCP. So it is possible. Uh, we could check that if there is, uh, in the numbers, for example, of the files, or there is a gap between, uh, there, there is a file missing, for example, we can check that. Or if the uh, wave, um, the audio content uh, duration is not the same as the video duration and so on, we could do this kind of checks. Did you want to add a comment? No, no, just a yes. A, a yes. yes, someone is happy. <laughs> so contact me. <laughs> Um, anybody else have something they're, they're dying to give uh, feedback to Jerome about that they've always wanted to ask him or tell him that they want? It's your chance. So the stream duration comparison, so audio, video, and so on. Okay, I get it. Thank you so much, Jerome.